So today my wife asked me, how come you unplug the LED light strip in our kitchen? I said, what do you mean? I didn't unplug anything. She goes, well, it's turned off. I said, no, it's not. See, it's plugged in over there. So I walk up to the wall wart and I say, hey, wait a minute. The little green light that's supposed to be out right there is off. So I go and pull it out and take a look at it. And I realize, wait a minute. Where's the other, where's the other plug? And then I see, uh oh, it's still inside the socket there. So I go get me a pair of pliers with rubber on the handles to be safe and I pull out the thing and sure enough there's the other half of it. Oh well, that's probably an easy fix I thought. So I thought well okay I'll just take the plug and put the little clip back in there. Push it in real hard. So I take the plug and I plug it back in the wall and again no power, no light. Sure enough the LED strip doesn't turn on either so I know it's more than just the fact that that needed to be plugged in. I take a look at the power outputs of this DC converter and I see it's 12 volts at 3 amps. Well, I have plenty of 12 volt 1 amp and 12 volt 2 amps. So for fun, I run over and get me a 12 volt 2 amp DC power supply and sure enough, the lights came on. I want at least 3 amps. I better be safe by not leaving a 2 amp running all the time. So that means I'm left with a dilemma of either trying to figure out how to get this to work again, if it's even possible, or going and buying a new one. I thought about it for a minute, I thought, you know, if that little prong came pulled out, there's probably a wire behind it. So probably all that I need to do is take it apart and solder on the inside wire back to that tab that's supposed to go into the wall socket. But how to get into this little power transformer? There's no visible screws anywhere, it's going to be one of these pry open methods, I suppose. So I start messing around with it and I take a knife and I start finding out that sure enough if I just play around with it long enough I can start popping it open. I started with just a uh, thin knife and then switched over to a letter opener. So I got started with this to get into the crack of the plastic and then I used a letter opening which is a little bit thicker and that helped kind of widen the gap. And sure enough it came apart. Oh, look at that. Only one wire connected. So when the prong came off, it came loose. So all I have to do is solder this one wire to there, and voila, it'll all be done. Okay, so I got the adapter laying here. I'm going to take a little bit of solder. And we're just going to reattach this blue wire. And that's it. And just to go the extra mile, make sure those two prongs don't fall out again, I'm going to put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on each one of them. There's enough material there to get the glue to hold on to and keep it inside. Plus there's plenty of room for the glue without touching any electronics. Not that that would probably matter. And maybe that'll help. I don't know. We'll see. And now I'll just put it back together here after the glue dries. Okay, all that's left to do now is just close this up. It should just snap right back together. So far, so good. Hmm. There it is. Okay, now we test to see if it really works. Let's plug it in. I mean, like, how couldn't it work, right? <laughs> Look at that, green light right there. And we'll check to see if all the LEDs under my wife's kitchen cabinets turn on now. So I'm gonna plug it into that. And what do you know? They work. Of course, not all wall warts, AC adapters, AC to AC, AC to DC, whatever you wanna call these things are the same. But if you have a problem with a prong broken off, or even if you don't, it might be just a simple fix of getting inside there and re-soldering the wire back. Now I know that this was about as easy of a fix as it can be, yet I am surprised how many people throw things away that are broken. But the last thing to find out now is, is the wife happy? Are you happy? Yes, it works. All right, well, as you know, happy wife, happy life. 
Thanks for watching and like and subscribe. It helps.